Hi, today we'll be covering on how we can enter opening balance in SQL Accounting. So when you first set up a company file, you normally split the opening balance into five different sections. Right? This would be your DL opening balance, your customer balances, supplier balances, stock opening balances, and of course bank account opening balance. Alright, so bank account opening balance would be your unpresented checks and of course your uncleared deposit. So for the first part, we'll be covering your GL account balance. Let's go to your SQL accounting. To do this, all you just need to do is go to GL, go to maintain opening balance. Alright, so for this example, let's say we want to create the opening balance for your fixed asset, say handphone. So if we want to create the cost, we'll put here the cursor. We'll in the value, say example, let's add it. We we'll put here 10,000 and of course if there's an accumulated depreciation is a credit value we we'll put it in the credit side and we we'll put here 2,000 so of course um, for an opening balance we will have to make sure your debit and credit is tight for this example of course we are ignoring this for the time being alright so once you are done we just need to click save and we are done with the account opening balance Alright, so for the next part, we will show you how to key in a customer opening balance. So for this, we always recommend our clients to key in details instead of summary. So let's say we have a customer called AA. The customer has 3 outstanding invoices amounting to a total of 100,000. We will key in the 3 invoices as separate invoices instead of just a lump sum value. Alright, so to do this, all we just need to do is click customer, click invoice, and of course, let's say we click new. So this example, we'll use AA customer here. And then of course, if you look at here, the date. So let's say the date will be the mm, year December 2016. Once we press enter, see the word called tax invoices will appear on the screen. And then all you just need to do is come to the bottom here and we have a key in what is the outstanding amount. So let's say the invoice is 10,000 and the customer paid a partial amount of say 2,000. So all we just need to key in is the outstanding value, all right? So we come in here, outstanding, key in eight. Sorry, total here, we will gain eight thousand. And once done, we just press save, all right? So for customers that have credit notes that are still unapplied, all we just need to do is come to customer credit note, new credit note, select the customer again, AA. And of course, here the date we will put 30th November 2016. Straight away, you can see the word plus credit note will then appear here. So again, the total will be the outstanding total. So let's say example is 1,500. You can just put 1,500. If you want to knock off any invoice at the moment, you can click here and we can knock off the invoice. If not, we can just press save. And when the future invoice are key in, you can actually knock off in the future. Alright? Okay. So once you have finished your customer, the next thing we need to do is of course in your supplier side. Or we just go to supplier, supply invoice, and we just press new. Alright, so today's example we will select again. We put ASA office, and of course here we will put the date, say example 25th November 2016. And straight away the system will show you this is a past invoice. Now our clients also would like to change this, they will always put here as opening balance. So straight away from the summary screen, they can see this transaction is an opening balance transaction. And of course, again, the amount here will be your outstanding amount right here. And once you're done, you just press save. So once we are done, we can go to browse here. You can actually see all the transactions that are opening balance. So if you want to see what we did just now, we just right click, field chooser, description, and we drag here. You can see this is an opening balance transaction. All right. Of course, every single invoice you have to key in again and again and again until you reach your uh, total owing to your particular supplier. All right. So once you have done with this, we are now able to go to do your stock opening balance. So to do that, all we just need to do is, of course, go to stock, maintain stock item. So first thing, of course, you need to key in all your stock codes inside the system, like you can see in our screen here. Then let's say, example, now we want to key in the opening balance for baking powder. So we select it, press edit, click opening balance, and then here we can press 
the plus sign. So of course, if your company has multiple locations, we can actually key in opening balance as per location. So let's say for this example, we just take default location. We can put what's the cost price, say example this $20 and of course this is 100 AG. And we can add here. There's a second location, we can just come here, say Palakong. And here we said the cost is $20 or so and there is 250 AG in here and you can just continue for every single location so once we're done we just press save and we're done all right all right so then the last section for this will be actually your bank opening balance which is your unpresented checks and unclear deposits to do this we just need to come to gl we click bank reconciliation we press new so let's widen this screen here on the blank screen, we just right click here, we have one called Opening Bank Reconciliation. So from here, we can press New, select your bank account, say example Maybank, and then we can put the PV number 123456, and then we can put the date, so example this will be 30th December 2016, and if there's a check number, we can key in the check number, of course the description opening balance. Payment for Naga National Bahad. Okay, so at the bottom there you can actually see there's a debit and credit value. So if it's a PBV, we normally will create the entry and the value in the credit side. If it's an OR that's not clear yet, then we'll of course key in the entry in the debit side. So for this example, we are using a PV, so all we just need to key in is the credit side. Alright? So once you're done, we just press save and then you can press new to create the new. Uh, entries for your unpresented checks and unclear deposit. Alright, so that's all for today's guide. Do like and subscribe to get updated when we release new videos. Thank you.